Nippon Pongsuan, the coral reef biologist at the Phuket Marine Biological Center, or PMBC, recently told us about the current problem for coral reefs being destroyed by several crown of thorn starfish outbreaks in various locations near Phuket. Back in 1984, the PMBC surveyed crown of thorn starfish outbreaks in the reefs on several islands in the Andaman Sea. Serious outbreaks were found on some, while others did not show any outbreaks. However, there was a presence of dead coral, which was suspected to have been caused by the crown of thorn starfish. In early 2007, an outbreak was found in a small cove south of Banu Island, the northernmost island of the Similan group. The reef had been hugely degraded within a few months as a result. The staff of BMBC and Similan National Park removed 65 in an area of, of about 150 by 50 meters in March 2007. At the present time, outbreaks are still found in some areas. At Rachiai Island, south of Phuket, recent outbreaks were found at some spots on the east coast of the island, and this year near Khao Ao, southeast of Phuket. Again, the crowd found starfish outbreak in many places. I got a report it from uh, Goha, that is near Lantau Island, uh, Rachiai Island, and Go Ao. Now we found uh, a big outbreak of the population there. Um, actually, the, this animal, it has the, a very sharp spine all over the surface, upper surface. And if people touch it, it the spine can pierce into the skin, into the flesh, and that can cause um, painful, yes. The crown of fallen starfish is a natural part of the reef ecosystem. And if the population levels are balanced, it is beneficial to the environment. These starfish choose to eat fast-growing coral species, particularly staghorn coral. Fast-growing coral species can cover areas very quickly and compete for space with slow-growing species. The crown of fallen starfish help to maintain a balance and allow space for the slower-growing species, therefore creating higher level di levels of diversity. Currently, high levels of fertilizer are used in agriculture and are subsequently being flushed to the sea. This fertilizer provides food for phytoplankton, and when phytoplankton blooms, it causes zooplankton to bloom as well. The larvae of the crown of thorn starfish begin as zooplankton, so the presence of fertilizer causes the crown of thorn starfish to prol proliferate. Another cause of the abundance of these starfish is a lack of predators such as the rare triton shells or triggerfish due to illegal fishing and sales of shells. Kunnipakon also wants to tell people not to feed fish with bread as the fish then do not eat naturally, including the larvae of crown of thorn starfish. And one thing I like to give a message is that uh, many people like to feed fish with bread or anything. Uh, that is not good behavior. Be because it will change the behavior of fish. Like, uh, as I say, some kind of the pelagic fish will eat the egg of the crab on starfish. Right. Right. And they eat bread, uh, yeah, they eat bread. they will eat bread instead of eating the um, young starfish like that, young, uh, instead of eating the egg of mm. crab on starfish. So and that, that can that is the way why the population of the crown-thorn starfish increase. Many divers have asked him how crown thorn starfish in certain areas define it as an outbreak. Scientists approximate if there are greater than 10 individuals in one hectare, that area is considered to have an outbreak. If there are greater than 30 individuals in one hectare, the outbreak is at a very serious level. If any divers find an outbreak case, it is acceptable to kill or remove the starfish to help preserve the effective reefs. However, if the outbreak area is within a national park, a permit must be obtained before anything can be removed. There are several methods which can be used to limit the number of crown storm starfish. You can use a knife to cut the central part of the starfish body, but should take care not to merely cut it in half, as the two halves can regenerate. Another option is to collect the starfish and bring them on shore to dry out.